Welcome to Grace Today, a daily vlog designed to encourage you and equip you with the Word of God. Let's begin. Today we're going to look at Psalm 140. Follow along with me in your copy of God's Word as I read Psalm 140. A Psalm of David. Rescue me, O Lord, from evil men. Preserve me from violent men who devise evil things in their hearts. They continually stir up wars. They sharpen their tongues as a serpent. Poison of a viper is under their lips, Selah. Keep me, O Lord, from the hand of the wicked. Preserve me from the violent men who have purposed to trip up my feet. The proud have hidden a trap for me and cords. They have spread a net by the wayside. They have set snares for me, Selah. I said to the Lord, you are my God. Give ear, O Lord, to the voice of my supplications. O God and Lord, the the strength of my salvation. You have covered my head in the day of battle. Do not grant, O Lord, the desires of the wicked. Do not promote his evil device, that they not be exalted. Selah. As for the head of those who surround me, may the mischief of their lips cover them. May the burning coals fall upon them. May they be cast into the fire, into the deep pits from which they cannot rise. May a slanderer not be established in the earth. May evil hunt the violent men speedily. I know that the Lord will maintain the cause of the afflicted and justice for the poor. Surely the righteous will give thanks to your name. The upright will dwell in your presence. In this passage, we have a great prayer for protection. This is a complete devotion to the Lord in seeking of him for protection. And he prays for rescue. He prays that the Lord would rescue him. He prays for protection from both snares and traps, from injustice and from slander. And he ultimately prays for justice. He shows his reliance on God, not that he is out avenging, but he is praying for God to bring about justice. Well, friends, how should that direct our prayers? Well, ultimately, I think we should use this as a model for prayer. We should pray to the Lord to rescue us from evil and from evil circumstances. We should pray for protection from snares and traps that have been set for us, from injustice, from slander. And we should pray for justice. Pray that the Lord would bring about justice. And then ultimately, as this psalm does in totality, we should affirm our trust in the Lord, that he is the one who brings about justice, that there is coming a day when justice will be perfect. Friends, this psalm, more than anything, should drive us to affirm our trust in the Lord. Remember, our war is not against flesh and blood, but against spirits and evil powers, forces of darkness. And for that, and for every bit of protection we need, we must trust in the Lord. And what better way to affirm that trust than like the psalmist does here, to pray. So friends, consider the the snares that are facing you, the traps that are facing you, the the evil that is facing you. Spend some time today praying to the Lord for protection and for justice. I love you, Grace Community. I'm praying for you. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in to the Grace Today vlog. For more information on Grace Community Baptist Church in Elgin, Texas, or how you can support this ministry, check out the links in the description below. See you tomorrow.